Hey my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a little Christmas party get ready with me. I'm not going to talk you through all of this stuff because then it's going to be like a million years long. But I've just done like a cute little slip back pony with some hair extensions in just so I get a bit of like a thicker ponytail. Uh, honestly it makes such a difference and it's so good as well for when you have like dirty hair because my hair kind of needs washing but it's not washed out yet. So this is like my go to uh, hairstyle for when my hair is like that. I just really feel like getting glam with you guys. Um, so I will show you all the products and I'll talk you through everything. I'll just make sure I do a voiceover because I feel like I want to watch a little Christmas movie while I'm doing my makeup. I want to get glam. I'm going to be doing a gold eye, a red lip. We're going like full Christmas vibes. I know that a lot of people's Christmas parties have been cancelled, which I'm really sorry about because that really sucks. But we can still get into like the festive vibes. So maybe you guys can pop on a Christmas movie too and then get ready along with me. I'm going to stop rambling now and we can just get on with it. Going straight in with my primer. This is honestly my favourite primer at the moment. It's the Charlotte Tilbury UV Invisible Flawless Poreless Primer. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it's so nice. Really nice and hydrating, but also kind of helps to blur the pores as well. I don't know, it's like magic. And it has SPF 50 in it, which is unbelievable because my moisturiser actually doesn't have SPF in it at the moment. And then, oh my God, this foundation. I cannot rave enough about this foundation. This is the Good Apple Foundation from KVD Beauty and it's so full coverage but also creamy so like if you've got drier skin or just generally in the winter you like more of like a creamy foundation this is the one for you because it also doesn't feel heavy but as you can see literally makes my skin look perfect like unbelievable and I use the 190 brush from Fenty Beauty to apply this and it applies like a dream no streak marks just honestly delightful then for my cream bronzer I'm going to use my Fenty cream bronzer this is in the shade butter biscuit uh, which isn't too dark which I really like it has that little bit of like a contour shade but also warms up my face as well if that makes sense it's like such a nice shade if you're my skin tone the brush that I'm using is a random lime crime one I really can't remember what it's called uh, but you can use any um, synthetic brush for this Oh, I just feel like it looks so natural and it blends into the foundation like a dream. Then I like to apply just a little bit down the sides of my nose. I don't like a harsh nose contour um, because I just think that looks really unnatural even if when you are glam. So just start apply a little bit. Then my concealer, oh, this is my favorite concealer of all time. I use other ones and then I always end up coming back to this. This is the Fenty Instant Retouch Concealer. This is actually in the shade 200, so I have gone slightly lighter in my shade because I think it gives more of a brightening effect. And then as you can see, I just keep it in the areas that I really want to like brighten um, and I just blend that out with my sponge. But it's really full coverage, but not cakey. It doesn't accentuate fine lines. It blurs my pores. It honestly, and it lasts like all day. It is a dream. I cannot rave to you enough about this uh, concealer. And obviously you've seen it on my channel and on my Instagram like a million times. So you're probably bored of hearing about it. Um, oh, this is a new product that I've been loving recently. It's the KVD uh, Beauty. What do they call it? It's like a gel blush. Uh, this is in the shade Dootopia. But as you can see, it's like a really sheer liquid blush or liquid slash cream blush. Um, and it just gives the most gorgeous glow to the skin. Oh my God. If you're someone that doesn't need to apply powder, this in the summertime... Oh, it just gives you like glass skin. It's delightful. And then I'm going to set just the areas um, that I want to mattify it with the setting powder from Fenty Beauty. I use the shade Lavender because it gives like a slightly brightening effect. And as you can see, I'm literally just going over everywhere that I pop that concealer. So I also popped concealer on my lids as well. But I'm avoiding the area where I applied that blush because can you see like the glass effect on my skin? Honestly stunning. Now I'm just going in and setting that gel blush because otherwise it just won't last that well on me. So I'm using the Glowish uh, Healthy Peach Cheeky Vegan Blush and it's so beautiful. It's quite a similar colour and I'm just applying that with this Dose of Colours blush brush. And then for bronzer, we just want to go in and obviously set the cream bronzer that we've applied. So I'm using the Glowish Radiance Bronzer, I believe it's called. I'm in the shade Medium and it's a really, really beautiful formula. It's very, very smooth, which as you can see, just blends beautifully, but it's not too dark either. It's like the perfect shade for me. And I like to take that into my brow as well and just go over that nose contour area too. Now I'm just gonna go in and use my Anastasia Brow Wiz to do my brows. I have run out of my Huda Beauty brow pencil, otherwise I'd be using that. Um, this like does the job, but oh my God, the Huda Beauty one's just that bit better, do you know what I mean? Because it's so thin, you can really get them natural like brow hair strokes, but this one will do for now. 
Now for eyes, I really wanted to use a nice gold shade, so I'm going to use these two palettes. Uh, the one on the left is the KKW Beauty Glitz and Glam palette, and then this one I'm showing you right here is the Huda Beauty Rich Nudes palette. And as you can see, I'm taking that little transition shade. It's kind of got these rich pinky tones, which I think is so stunning, and then matches perfectly with this darker shade from the KKW Beauty palette. And I'm popping this shade in the outer corner. I always, as you know, in it, pretty much every eyeshadow tutorial that I do I like to darken my outer corner and um, apply a nice shimmer on my lid kind of halfway and I just think it suits my eye shape the most um, so I'm going to take this darker shade now from the Huda Beauty palette and just deepen up that outer corner you're kind of layering um, just to create that nice gradient effect and always going back to my fluffy brush to blend everything out I'm going to use these same shades just on my lower lash line keeping the darker one right to the outer corner and then just going in taking our lighter shade again just all the way under using this tiny little fluffy brush and then the gold shade from the KKW Beauty palette is so beautiful and so reflective so I'm taking that and I'm popping that all over my lid um, but what I like to do so I'll pop this over the lid first and as you can see it's not super blended into the outer corner so what I like to do is actually take a darker shimmery shade and also apply that to help blend and then I'm just popping the white shade in the inner corner and going in with my lashes because a dramatic glam look like this just needs some lashes these are the tatty lashes in TL6 oh they're so beautiful really fluffy on the outer corner and that's just what I like just going over with a little bit of liner to clean everything up and then we're going to move on to our lip color so we're going for a red obviously because Christmas vibes and all that but I'm taking this uh, darker lip liner from Diego de la Palma it's like basically more of a dark burgundy red um, with a little bit of an orange undertone actually so it's kind of hard to describe maybe it's like more like a dark rust um but i will leave the color and the link and everything below because to be honest the color has just escaped me now for the center of my lip i'm using this oma badass icon lipstick in the shade Sade, and it's more of a true red and i think the combo of these two are just so beautiful because once you pop a slightly lighter shade in the middle and then a darker lip liner you get more of that ombre effect and i think with a red lip it just looks so beautiful so i'm just setting that with a little bit of powder setting my face and then this makeup look is all done i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please make sure to hit the like button comment below hit the notification bell support you girl honestly i appreciate all of your support and i really hope to see you guys in the next video i do make um two videos a week so hopefully i will catch you in the next one bye